Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. Okay, so easy to see some first first easy remarks. So suppose I have a module M. This is a graded module. And uh, suppose I have integer k. From this module, I I want to get a new module that I want to write it m k. This is a twist. So that means to to define this graded module, I have to give you what are its homogeneous components. So homogeneous components of this, if I write n here, that is by definition m. K plus n. So I have shifted. This is only if if this module was like this, m minus one, direction m zero, direction m two, and if I have your k is four, then this component or the new component will be now. Uh, I shift to this side, so that will be new. New m k will be so k plus n. So this will become minus three m k. Only the position is changing, right? This is this only you just shifted. So I don't write that. It's unnecessary to think about it. So it's just positioning. Okay. So the obvious question is what is the relation between the Poincaré series here and Poincaré series there? So obviously the poincare series of poincare series of mk this is z power minus k pm is obvious we just have to shift the dimension to the other side uh, left side okay and also so this is i am i am collecting easy properties of this poincare series so suppose we have uh, ah now before i uh, state the next one uh, suppose i have two graded module m and n we have graded module r modules then what is the homomorphism between them that should respect the gradation that means homogeneous component of degree n should go inside homogeneous component of degree n so it's called f is called graded homomorphism if f of mm is contained in n times m then you call it homo a graded homomorphism of degree 0 is called graded homo if you want degree k then it need not go in mm but it should go in m m m plus k so graded of degree Degree k means not this, but this should go in. This is for all m. M plus k for all m. And if I don't say degree, then that is assumed that degree zero. 
so now suppose i have a sequence like this graded modules and i will assume i will also assume m finitely generated graded r module that means as a module it is finitely generated over r and because it is graded then i can assume that the there is a generating set consisting of homogeneous elements of whatever degree so now if i have a sequence like this zero m now i cannot put a suffix here because i want a uh, module to be numbered so i will write it here so this is a graded module another graded module and this is a graded homomorphism and so on and do you know uh, when do you say sequence is exact so this is a long sequence of graded modules of graded homomorphisms and we say it is exact means the uh, so exact means uh, image here equal to kernel here and at this stage it is injective at this stage it is surjective if such a sequence of graded module is exact then at each homogeneous stage it will also be exact because we know it's a graded homomorphism so so this will mean that this mth component here will go to mth component here and so on so then this sequence will also exact for all m so if this is exact sequence of graded r modules then this sequence is an exact sequence of finite dimensional vector spaces finite dimensional k vector spaces but then when you have a exact sequence of vector spaces then you can compute the dimension and a dim alternating sum of the dimensions is zero so that means so then summation summation is from zero i equal to zero to r alternating sum dimension over k as m i m this is zero for all m in z but this means what this precisely means that so that is so this means if i take this series poincare series summation alter, alternating sum of p m 0 uh, p m i these are all zero because p m pm is by definition this so all these coefficients will add up alternating sum to zero that means as a power series it is zero so let us see a concrete example of such a situation so example so let's let's we have, we have this graded ring with our uh, 
usual assumptions it is standard graded uh, and suppose f is an homogeneous element of degree m this is n suppose f is homogeneous of degree m homogeneous of degree m which is strictly positive and suppose f is a non zero divisor in r and um, uh, let us this means non zero divisor means your map is multiplication by f is injective this is injective this is multiplication by f this map is a going to f a non zero divisor means this map is injective but you know this is not a graded homomorphism so if i want to get a vector spaces out of this i should put the correct indices so this means this we i should think instead of rn will go where if i multiply by f will go to r m plus n so if i take homogeneous element of degree n and multiply by f i get homogeneous of degree m plus n and and then um uh, if i still want to write this r here then i better shift this to the other side then it will become homogeneous so if i still want to think this lambda f as a graded homomorphism of graded modules then to put the correct degrees i should shift this r to the left side so that it becomes homogeneous of degree 0 so then that means i have to consider r and minus m to r so minus m the homogeneous components are shifted to the minus side so that is left side so if i have homogeneous of degree some element here then now this becomes correct this is a graded homomorphism and then what is the co kernel so this is injective so i have injective homomorphism and what will be the co kernel co kernel is r modulo ideal generated by f and this this is i don't have to do anything here because this is homogeneous this is also have a grading already because it's a quotient of a uh, graded so here you can put this is same thing as rn mod this is this has the same grading rn mod rn intersection with this so this is already so this i have is exact sequence of graded modules and just now what we have seen that the the poincare series here alternating sum is zero so uh, that means the middle one so the pr is equal to p of this plus p of r by f because alternate sum is you start with if you start with plus here plus minus plus so this minus i am shifting it to the other side so it is pr equal to the p of both this and this one again um, uh, just now we have seen that this is that power will come out so this is same as z power m pr plus p r by f so and there is nothing special about the ring i could have done this for a module and i uh, only thing i need to assume that this homogeneous element f of r should be non zero divisor for the module m so let me write now the statement 
uh, uh, let us simplify this little bit. So, I, uh, I we should write this in terms of the other P R. So, P R by ideal generated by F this is same thing as I am shifting this to the other side this to the other side that means 1 minus z power m P R. So, if you if you want to compute the Poincare series modulo f, then we have this inductive formula, right? So, so let us write in the form of lemma now. So, this is lemma which will be used again and again for computational purpose. So, I will write more precisely. So, let m be a finite. graded R module R is n graded of finite type Over a field K with that R naught is positive dimensional, and of course, finite and if. And F F is R M homogeneous element of degree M which is a non zero divisor. or the module for the R module M then Poincare series of M mod F M note that F times M is a graded sub module of M and therefore M by F M is also graded. The graded homogeneous components are precisely the homogeneous components of M divided by the homogeneous components of F times M. So, this equal to 1 minus z power M times the Poincare series of M. Now, proof is same. Proof you just have to look at the exact sequence 0 m minus m m to m by f m to 0. This map is a multiplication by f any element x goes to f times x and this is a natural map. So, this sequence is exact sequence of is a short exact sequence of graded R modules and therefore, you write down the Poincare series and whatever we did the same same calculation shows it is this. Okay, now, I will state a theorem and we will continue the proof next time. So, this theorem is very fundamental theorem and this was already actually proved by Hilbert. But Hilbert had a very complicated proof of this the, the theorem I am going to set. So, theorem is 
and again if one states very precisely that it will be clear what to do in the proof so r and m as above that means r is a uh, n graded ring with r not uh, algebra over a field which is finite algebra that means finite dimensional k vector space and r as a r not algebra generated by finitely many elements they may not be of degree 1 they may be different degrees then so Oh, let me uh, let me just uh, to remembrance uh, to remember uh, write this r as r zero generated by x one to x n and this x one x x one x i uh, degree of x i or x i belong to r gamma i i is from one to That means R is R not algebra generated by x1 to xn, which are homogeneous elements of degree gamma one, gamma two, gamma n. Okay, then the Poincaré series of M, P M, is same as some Laurent polynomial Q divided. It's a rational function of the type. the numerator is not just a polynomial it's a laurent polynomial q and the denominator is z gamma 1 1 minus z gamma n where q is a laurent polynomial Q Q also depends on M actually, so I should really write here M. Q M is um, uh, uh, Q M belongs to integer coefficients and Laurent polynomial. So Z power plus minus one. So Laurent polynomial. with integer coefficients and the denominator is a nice so in particular when for example when you want to do it for r then it will be uh, and suppose you are polynomial ring then all the gamma is are one so you can so it will be 1 minus z power somebody if all gamma is where one so uh, we will prove this next time and deduce uh, consequences from here so proof next time